Jagu there. Welcome again. I would like to share with you um, about um, commitment, the subject of commitment today. Um, I had uh, one uh, devotee coming to me and telling, um, I feel I, I want to commit more, but uh, I don't know if I have to for this, if I have to leave my wife or if I can continue with her. So please go and ask, uh, ask Guruji. Guruji is our spiritual master, the head of our mission. Ask him if uh, this is what I should do. What, ask him what to do, what I should do. So I just told him, you know, uh, Guruji will never come and tell you, please leave your wife and follow me and you have to do this and this and this and then you are qualified to come. It is not a cult. We are not brainwashing people and making them leave whatever they love just because they have to be with us. No, it is a personal responsibility. Everyone is responsible of his life, of his choice. So I told him, please go and see what do you want. What do you want in life? What do you want? And and are you happy? If you're happy with your wife, why to leave her? But if you feel that maybe it's time for you to go, then you have to take that decision. No one can take that decision at your place. So be very clear that you have to see in yourself and uh, decide what is best for you. Of course, um, a spiritual uh, guide can give you the blessings to help you and the energy necessary to do your process. But the person will not, this person, your guru, your spiritual guide will never, never, um, if he it's an authentic, authentic master, will never come and tell you, do this, I order you to do this. And, um, and that is uh, what is personal responsibility. So always be responsible, you know, because it's very easy to say, oh, that person told me to do this, so I did this. No, we have to be responsible. We are the creators of our life. And we choose to be in a spiritual, on a spiritual path. No one has to force us to be there. If someone is forcing us, that is completely wrong. So we have to embrace that, to commit to that, to make of that our lifestyle if we are called by that otherwise there are a lot of spiritual path and you can choose whatever nowadays you have so much choice just be tolerant be loving with you and be responsible and choose what is the best for you and of course you will be supporting in that and uh, welcome if you want to uh, to renounce, you feel that you have to renounce to everything to go on a spiritual path, but you have first to fulfill some duties, you know. Uh, it's not so easy that you can commit to to something like renunciation, you know. Sometimes it's better just to be responsible and uh, and be a grihasta and, and fulfill your responsibilities than, uh, than commit to something that uh, you are not doing fully, you know. Uh, just because you like it or you, you think that that is for you or, you know. So it has to be completely authentic, your uh, your decision to do it and uh, uh, your process has to be authentic. It has to come from inside. You have to have that fire pushing you. And, of course, it has to be written in your destiny. In You know, it's not written uh, for everyone in this life. It's not written for renunciation, so... Just um, observe yourself and be very clear where you are and how much you can take, you know, and God will not give you more than you can take. So uh, be attentive and, and responsible and um, all the best, all the best. Okay, have a nice day and be responsible and choose to be happy and, uh, of course, spirituality and happiness uh, go together. Jagger there.